What do you need? Okay, wooden sword. That is uh, usually people call it bokken. And I call it bokto. And many people call it bokto as well. I've, uh, I know they are used, both used. Uh, but I am familiar with bokto rather than bokken. But they are all the same. Okay, so you need a wooden sword. Now, uh, now kendo has, of course, um, kata. Kata is forms, and also kendo has the basic. Also, kendo has. Also, kendo has training method called kihon, uh, uh, bokuto kihonho. Which is uh, you learn, you can learn those basics using bokuto. So it is very uh, useful uh, or wise to have a bokuto at the beginning, so you can learn these um, movements as well. Okay, and I now prefer to teach the basics with wooden sword bokuto. That's because uh, it gives you less um, bad habits, I think. And uh, it gives you a good idea of why we're, uh, why we are certain, we are doing certain things. For example, we have to do taito. That's because uh, we have to wear our sword in the belt. In, back on back in old days so we can draw out our sword and the reason why we have to hold our shina in a certain way because the handle of real sword is an oval okay so these things uh, are very hard for beginners to imagine because can uh, shina is a round long stick Okay, so uh, with Bokuto, you can have a uh, good idea of the sword. What, why? So, uh, because the uh, handle, Tsuka, is an oval shape with Bokuto, but Shina is round. So, it is easy to grab uh, Shina from the side, not from the top. Uh, so, I, th I recommend for you, if you're a beginner, I recommend you you should use Bokuto instead of Shinai uh, to learn those basic movements. That's my personal, opi personal opinion. So your sensei might say different things. So if your sensei say, you know, do this, do that, please do follow your sensei, your teacher, okay? Okay, and you need a bamboo sword, we call it shinai. Okay, uh, as I said, shinai is round, has a round handle, it's made out of uh, bamboo, so we don't get hurt when we hit each other. All right, and this is very important for kendo people, so it is very, very important for you to know what kind of shinai you should get. And shinai length, uh, I think, uh, as small as you can get really short shinai like uh it's called 32 shinai and for uh adults uh we use 39 shinai called 39 that's the length of japanese sanshaku kyusun that's uh the old japanese measurement and, and Sanshaku is uh, Sanshaku is about 90, 90 centimeters, and Kyusun Kyusun is uh, I have to calculate that. It's about twenty seven centimeters, I believe. Uh, so it's about one uh, one. 120 centimeters, I think. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, so it depends on your age. Length is different. 
So it's not like how tall you are and how tall uh, how short you are. It's not that. Although uh, in training you can choose the snare length. Uh, however, uh, whatever you uh, whatever length you want to use in training, that's fine. But if you want to partic participate in a tournament like official tournament they have re regulations they have certain okay if you're an adult if you participate in this group of uh, tournament you need to use this length and this weight of shinai okay so you have to follow that all right so that is why you have to be it's not up to your height it's up to how old you are okay in kendo anyway but in training, you can use uh, 38 shinai or 39 shinai, it depends how you feel. Uh, I prefer to use 39 shinai, but I always cut at the top, uh, the tip of the so uh, tip of the bamboo parts of shinai, because I have shoulder injuries, so I am not really, uh, I'm not a big fan of long sword, because it probably it hurt my shoulders a little go while I'm training so I prefer shoulder shinai but and then if I have to participate if I participate in a, in an official tournament I have to use uh, what they say that I have to use okay now uh, kendo uniform you need kendo uniform we call them keikogi and hakama top is called keikogi and the bottom and a skirt looking uh, trousers actually we call it hakama okay keiko it, it means training in japanese and gi means uh wear or clothes in this case so keiko gi is the top uh something to wear for training that's what it means and hakama is uh those uh, trousers but it, it looks like skirt uh, but actually it's a trousers. So you have you have two uh, one foot goes there and two foot uh, the other foot goes there kind of like the leg go there okay and I really recommend that you buy kendo uniform keiko and hakama at the beginning that's because uh, you know I some I most often I allow people to uh, beginners, especially beginners, to train um, in t-shirt and whatever they feel comfortable at the very beginning, like trial, uh, and then once they commit, they should wear uniform, Kenny Kikegu and Hakama. That's because uh, it's not simple exercise we are doing. We are doing like the training ourselves, so we change clothes so we change our mindset okay and it's not like something we do for uh, you know fun it is fun but we have to train ourselves so I super recommend uh, to get keikogi and hakama once you commit okay and you have to commit to uh, whatever you decide to do because and then with that commitment you don't really learn anything so please get a uh, kendo uniform, keiko and hakama, once you decided to do, okay? And you, of course, once you become advanced, once you uh, master, I don't, I shouldn't say master, once you learn all kinds of basics and your sensei says, okay, you're probably ready to have a bulgu on, uh, which is armor to protect your uh, self, which means your opponent or your training partner will start hitting you, okay? But uh, I have to say welcome to the real kendo training. Uh, when you're a beginner, you only hit the target, which is uh, your your senior students. But then, now once you put ammo on, they will hit you. So you uh, you will feel pain as well. So make sure you're ready for that, but it, it starts uh, it starts real kendo training. Now, uh, of course, this is very important to choose good bogu, okay? Because it is to protect your body, okay? 
So it is, I'm going to talk about it later, but it is very important. Okay, so you need one wooden saw, bamboo shin, uh, bamboo saw, shin, okay, bokuto, shinai, keikogi, and hakama, and bogu. Okay, 